What's up, YouTube? We're doing a little experiment today. Um, someone requested last week for me to do a video on what the dry button does. There's a little symbol in here for the raindrop, and what it basically does is it dehumidifies your room. Um, I've got a room here. I've got the windows open right now. I'm going to set the windows. I've got a humidity of... Uh, 63% humidity, 76 degrees. Uh, it's supposed to be 91 degrees today, uh, but it's really, really muggy in here. It doesn't 63% humidity doesn't sound like a whole lot. Um, but we're gonna see what happens. I hit the button. We'll run it. We'll see how long it takes. Um, what temperature does it turn off at? If, if at any, I have no idea. Um, I've never done this experiment before, and uh, I've got two outdoor units. We're gonna see if this, this one out side the compressor spins at a faster or slower cycle than the other ones the other ones are running air conditioners um, so we'll do that experiment also so let's get this started right now let's see what happens Shut the windows first I've got two windows so it's a cross piece I'm getting a lot of humidity we'll turn this on I'll show you on the display there we go 70 and mode until we get there that's it it is 11 30 and i'll come back when this thing uh kind of like settles down we'll go outside we'll see how fast this thing's spinning outside on the compressor and uh i'll come back and give you my findings in just a few minutes all right guys i'm in front of both of my outdoor units uh, I've got one unit running the air conditioner. I got the other unit running the uh, dehumidifier in dehumidifier mode. So uh, it looks like they're both running at the same RPM. Uh, you really can't tell the difference. They look the same speed. They sound the same speed. And uh, I think there is no difference in, I, I assume energy usage is pr pretty much the same. Um, I will do a little more research before we conclude this video. All right, guys, we're 15 minutes into the humidity test. Uh, we're down right now to 57% uh, humidity and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's uh, it feels much comfortable. It feels much more comfortable right now. Um, we'll keep checking every 15 minutes, half an hour. We'll see what, uh, what happens. Hold on. All right, guys, we are back for another update. 15 minutes have elapsed. Uh, we are now at 58% humidity and the temperature is 72.9. Uh, I want to keep it going. See how this is faring. Still blowing out cold air. The fan is still at a lower setting, so it's doing, it's still doing what it's doing. So we'll keep it going. We'll come back another half an hour. All right, guys, another half an hour has gone by. It's at 72 degrees. 72.5 and 55% humidity. We're gonna just keep it going all day. Um, we'll just uh, update every half hour until it just levels off completely. And as always, if you haven't yet, click the subscribe button. Some people think it costs money to subscribe. It doesn't. It's just a way for you to come back. It's kind of like a, it's like a bookmark. So you know, all right, I like this channel. I'm gonna come back. He's got stuff that I like, got content that I like. If you hear this song, there's a lot of stuff with the Mitsubishi Mini Split. Mr. Cool, um, they're all pretty much the same, okay? Um, a, lot of good, a lot of good info on this channel for those kind of things, so uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a, leave a comment. Um, one of these videos is because of a viewer comment, so. There you go. Your comment could be answered live on the air. All right, guys, I think it's leveled off. Another half an hour has gone by. Temperature 73, temp uh, humidity 55%. Uh, I think it was 72.6 last time and 55, 56. Um, uh, I've done my research also. Does it save money to use the cool mode, the dry mode as opposed to cool mode? 
and not really. Um, I think it does to a certain extent, uh, from what I've heard, what I've read, you will have a lower fan speed, so you don't cool the room as quick. It still has, it still has to run the compressor, it's still running a cold mode, but it's running it at a lower fan speed, so you don't cool the room off as quickly. It's still going to cool the room off, as you can see, that we've dropped uh, three, three degrees or something like that. Uh, it's very comfortable in here now, um, but from what I've read, also if it's really hot and humid, you're better off running it on cold and cool mode because you'll get the benefit of cooling and dehumidifying. So I guess if it's a mild day, run it on the dry mode maybe, but uh, I don't know. I guess. Your results will vary. Try what, try them both. See what works better for you. Um, for me, I think I like it better on cool mode. I feel like it gets too cold. Maybe it's too dry. I don't know, but I feel like it's it feels colder when it's on dry mode. And maybe because I'm in a smaller room, but I've done it, I've done it also in the bigger room, and it, it just felt colder. Um, I'm gonna let this test run all day. I'll come back. If anything changes, I'll update you, but um, I'll come back in a few hours to see if the temperature has gone down. Um, right now it's 73 in here, but it feels colder than the room next door that's 72. And I think it's because the humidity, humidity level is lower. Um, I don't know how that, ex how that will affect your electric bill. I don't think it's, it's much anyways. These things run so efficient anyway. So do whatever is most comfortable for you and enjoy. All right. There's no wrong way. You're not going to screw nothing up. All right. All right, guys, I think that's it for this video. If we have an update, I'll update you. If not, that's the end. This is the end. I love you guys. Like, share and subscribe. And we'll talk to you soon.